Alright guys, so I know I haven't filmed in a while, and that's because my dad sold all of the freaking cars. We have no cars. For the next five to six months, we're traveling around Texas trying to find the best supercar or hypercar, whichever one. So we got about three to four new cars coming. So if you help me find the best car in Texas, you'll be one of the first people to go in the new cars my dad's getting. You'll be one of the first if you help me find the best car. But today, we're in Austin, Texas. Like I said, we're trying to find the best car in Texas. Apparently, I do know his dream car is in this garage, but, oh, the garage is opening. Oh my God, what is it, what is it? I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look yet, I don't wanna look yet. Garage open, open? It's open. It's open, open? Hey, open this going. is Steven. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gage. This is Steven, he's the owner of these cars. I like how you still don't know what is behind you right now. <laughs> so he said he has two cars, and one of them's his dream car. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know, dude, I'm I wonder scared. Behind us. All right. Three, oh, two, dude, I'm scared. Wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. Just turn around. Just turn around. Just turn around. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> bro, this is just. Uh, this is just, bro. What the? Bro, I've never. All the cars I've seen in my life, I've never seen a P1 ever in my life, and that's a fact. Never, dude. Oh my gosh, my dude. There's more cars, <laughs> bro. Okay, for those who don't know, 4x4, four four, G-Wagon, my dream daily. Didn't they just come out with the new one? They just came out with the new one. Like the new body style? Yeah. Bro, okay, we're literally trying to find the best car in Texas, and I think our first pit stop, we might have found it. It's gonna be hard to top it. it it's, gonna it's gonna be, gonna be so hard to top it. It's gonna be hard to top it. This is one of the highest spec roadsters uh, in North America when I purchased it. Uh, wow. What makes that kind of unique is the Aventador body is actually all aluminum usually, but as you can see here, this SV logo, usually this is either sticker or in an option painted. Uh, but the original owner of this car flew out to Italy and requested to get this entire panel done in carbon fiber and leave the SV exposed in carbon. Um, so that makes it's it just like painted. Yeah, they, they they pretty much had a stencil they put down and painted around it, and then left the SV and carbon behind. Whoa! This has every single option that it, you could get on the Aventador Roadster SV Roadster, and um, all the carbon fiber. If you look at the engine bay, the X the X brace, and uh, the entire interior is all matte carbon, whereas uh, the vast Whoa. majority. Don't tell me there's green inside. Yep. Yep. But it's all matte carbon on the interior where the vast majority of the SVs are glossy. You think Tim would approve? Bro, yeah, Tim would approve. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, my dad, about probably like four or five years ago, he was debating on getting a Senna or a P1, and he chose the Senna, as y'all know. And I think he. And we yeah, all know, I think he, met, he might have made the wrong choice. No, no, no offense to y'all, but we all know which one he drove the least. I'm just saying, this one might have made a difference. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. Because we barely drove the Senna. Riley, Riley, Riley. There was 1,200 miles on the Senna. Riley put 1,000 miles on the Senna. This probably would have had a few more thousand if we would have got this instead. Hey, so you got a Raptor R2? You have one of the first in Texas. Oh, my gosh. I had... A Ram TRX. Guys, I don't, oh yeah, my last video, I got, the, my literally last YouTube video was me getting my TRX. And guys, my TRX literally got stolen. I've, I've heard that the TRXs have been an issue getting stolen, and I've heard they've been targeting Raptors next to it. Really? Oh. So. Well, I hope yours don't get stolen. I hope not. Yeah, hey, so we just before. get the keys so and just might. take it off. Take off? I don't know. the helicopter get it from the top. This is GTA. So when you open it, it's fine. Okay. Um, but when you close it, you don't want to slam it. Right, you just um, kind of gently. That's kind of how the LaFerrari was. It, yeah. You hold it until like three inches right here. It's heavy. Yeah, and then you let it go. Yeah, okay. Um, but people who slam it can crack the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you really wanted to, you could daily drive this and use it as a grocery getter. Right. I like how this, the, the, the push starts right here. Yeah. yeah that's right Funny here. story, when we got the Senna, we, it took us like 30 minutes. We had to call McLaren to figure out yeah, how to turn it on. It, it, was on the, it was on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Same with the door. Uh -huh. the door and I think the, and the AC also. Oh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> It 
does sound like the, uh, the Koenigsegg. So yeah, you'll, you'll hear the noise. It's kind of hard to capture on camera sometimes, but yeah. um, the, it's pretty loud in person. The intake, you can hear the whooshing. Right. Do the snorkel, and then when you get off the gas, uh, you can hear the waste gauge of the turbo. It's really easy to have some pressure. Right. Wow. Hey, it gets my heart going. Ooh. Wow, this thing is beaming in the sun. Oh my god. Oh, it's lowering right now. Oh, the wing's coming up. Bro, this thing is so sick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the license plate. P1. This is so clean. This looks so aggressive. Oh my gosh. So we're out in Austin, Texas. And I don't know if y'all watch like streamers or anything, but who did you say owns this building or something? So this is Oni Studios. It's owned by Cypher PK. Oh, we're just chilling in front of it? Dude. Got his merch on. I oh, got his merch on, bro. Come on now. Where is he, bro? Is he coming on? Is he gonna come on? I don't know. He's I missing all the fun. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I used to talk pretty down bad on P1s back when my dad had a Senna. Just because the Senna just looks really aggressive, but after being in the P1 for the first time ever, never even seeing one in person, I think I like this more than the Senna. I'm not gonna lie. Comment down below what you like better, the P1 or the Senna. Let me know. So this color is called Ice Silver. There's less than 10 P1s made in this color, right? Wow. So yeah, it looks silver, obviously, but in the sun, in person, it does have like a little blue tint from the sun. The, you know, the center wings is massive. Yep. So we actually ate a full like we had like a whole like Taco Bell yeah. Oh, yeah. party on the center wing. Have you ever like used it as a table? I <laughs> a <that>. table. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty freaking big. Yeah. This is how much? How much is this table? Quite a bit. <laughs> the most expensive table I have in my house. Quite a bit. Not for real though, like what happens like if this like were to fall off, like how much would that actually like cost? Um, maybe 80 grand. 80 grand? I, I know one of these, the hydraulic struts, uh, that got replaced and that was like 65. 65,000? Yep. <laughs> Alright Alberto, have you ever been in a McLaren P1? Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today is my first day too, so I'm gonna let you take the camera and you're gonna go in it. And we're gonna get your reaction for sure. For sure. Dad, if you're watching this, I highly suggest you getting one of these. I think I think this needs to be in the fleet. Guys, comment down below if the P1 should be in the fleet. Guys, keep in mind we have a Koenigsegg Jesco coming. A Pagani Utopia is on the way. They should be arriving around the same time. Pagani Mistral, guys, we got a bunch of cars coming. I think a P1 needs to be in the garage, I don't know. I love how there's like no brake light right here. I like how it's all like see-through. The brake lights like goes around right here and all the way through the car. It's pretty sick. cold start of the SV. It hasn't been started in like two months apparently. <laughs> as good as Lamborghinis. Lamborghini by far has the best sounding cars. Oh my gosh. Wow. Woo. Wow. This thing is bright. We got the carbon fiber right there. Woo. This thing is so beautiful. My favorite color is green. So like I would take this any day. This is my first time sitting in an Aventador. I've never. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, I've never been in an SV, SVJ, Aventador. I've never been in nothing besides a Huracan and a Urus. That's literally the only Lambos I've ever been in my life. 
This is crazy. I love the Alcantara seats with the green. Black and green just go so good together. And I just love how the speedometer is yellow. I don't know why, but that's like, I just love that for some reason. Can y'all agree with me that this is probably the coolest part of a Lamborghini, how you push that up and to start it? I just love that feature for some reason. Everything about a Lamborghini, I just love. It's like your whole spaceship. I'm trying to film a TikTok right now, and this is so close. Oh my gosh. I probably would've hit the car, I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys. If you had the option between an SV or a P1, which one are you taking and why? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, we are heading out. This was crazy. Comment down below or DAB if you have a car or know somebody with a car that we can come travel to and film with. Shout out to Steven for letting us come and messing around with the McLaren and Lambo. His Instagram will be linked down below. Make sure I go support his Instagram. He posts a bunch of car content. So yeah. Thank you again, man, bro. Of course, dude. Guys, glad y'all can yeah. come hey, by. Is there, is there anything you can say to the viewers out there to like encourage them or anything? Encouragement? Um, words of wisdom? Trying to think of something that's not super generic like hardware. <laughs> um, I mean, this was my dream car for the longest time. There's a poster over there with the event oh, we on. Um, and uh, on the other side over there that uh, I had in high school. And uh -huh. I was like, one day I'm going to make it a goal to have one. Um, and so this is my dream car and then this one. And really like, as generic as it sounds, you know, find something you really enjoy doing, but find something you enjoy that makes money. Right, and right. That's what it is at the end of the day. So, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting us come and mess around with the cars. Guys, his Instagram will be linked down below. Make sure to go check it out. He posts a bunch of cool car stuff. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you, of course, Gabe. Anytime. He will be out in Dallas. We're going to take him in the new cars. Yeah, I'm know? looking forward to seeing the new car. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.